storm, the hurricane was coming through. My wife was shaking her boots. And the kids were sleep having fun, playing in the back, back room. That's a good quality. I don't take that from any child. The ability, when all hell is breaking loose, you sit up there, huh, somebody say something? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> if you have not watched the news, and I'm going to have you write a paragraph. Monaghan's been looking at the news for the last six or seven weeks. Is it this country is in some serious trouble? Now, let, let me say this. We're, we're dealing with the trouble we're in with the disease, but life still deals with other types of problems as well. And you're supposed to have some idea of what to do about it. I'm not saying kids should be scared. I am wrong for biting my fingernails trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I went and bought a whole bunch of stocks. My stocks were almost to zero. I just sold two homes out here, and I went to talk to one of the teachers. He said, man, he said, it's rough. He said, I got houses. And ain't nobody going to have money to pay me the rent. That's why I sold my houses out here. I'm going to take my money and transfer it into cows. I took my money out of the bank. I sold my property. But I still have a problem. There's no cows. If you, and I think you are old enough to figure it out, what my, one of my problems is. They said at school all the grades improved 100%. My grades didn't improve. I've had two of my bosses come into this classroom and say, Monica, uh, we see that your grades did You gave out 20, I think, 14 fails in here. What's your first grade? You gave Stephanie. You're going to give Stephanie a D. We want to know why you're going to give Stephanie. And Stephanie's mom going to run up here. And I'm going to show her the test score. Say number one. I'm going to try to finish it. I need you to hold on, Steve. You say, Monica, what are you nervous about? Why are you biting your fingernails? Because all the grades in this school <coughs> improved according to them. 100%. And it's not And when I went to check when I went to check how teachers were improving the grades, raise your hand, teachers give you five points to sit down in the chair. Raise your hand, teachers give you five points to show them a pencil. Raise your hand, the teachers give you I said, no what? I'm not going to do it. Do that. Ah, you're Alan, Alan, you shut up or head in the back. Back, why don't you head back there? Let's see, right back there. <laughs> all the way in the back, all the way in the back, back. All the way in the back, 31. You can hop right here. I appreciate it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Shh. No, no. I'm not trying to scare anyone. I'm looking at what's obvious. All the teachers' grades improved last year. Two of my bosses walk in this semester and say, and, and Moretta said he wants to see why my grades are not improved. Now, two of my bosses have already walked in and said, uh, we, noticed you, you know, we noticed that Steve got a, a fail on his first report card. What can, now, if, what can we do? What, what are you doing to raise this grade? You want to be here next year, don't you? Now, I've got a problem. Because I'm not going to give points for you walking in no classroom. I'm not going to, look, if you show me a pencil class, I'll give you 10 points. I ain't giving no points. I ain't giving out no pencils. I ain't giving out no pens. If you fail, you fail. And I appreciate your father getting on your back about that. That's the way it's supposed to work. Your dad's supposed to kick your butt. 